Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. Happy Friday, everybody. Praise the Lord. So good to see you this morning. We serve an awesome God and a wonderful God, and we just thank him and praise him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Lord God. Yes, good morning. Hallelujah. This is a great day to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. I am glad and I am rejoicing in it. We just praise him and thank him. Hallelujah. Yes, it is Friday, y'all. We made it to Friday. Thank God for another day, for, for a new day, a new time, new mercies, new compassion this Friday morning. And we just thank him that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we give you glory and honor. We esteem you high this Friday morning. We thank you because you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father God, we just praise you this morning for the rising of the sun and raising us up, your dear children, Lord God. We thank you and praise you this morning, God, for your angels that watched over us last night while we slept, some while we worked. But Lord God, we just thank you and praise you that we are never alone, that you are always with us, leading, guiding, and directing us. And we just come this morning to give you praise, to give you honor. Hallelujah. We thank you because you are very present help in time of trouble. You are truly an awesome God, an amazing God. You are a wonderful God and a loving God. And there is no other God like you this morning. Father God, we just thank you. We love you. We lift you up this morning. We magnify you this morning. We thank you because you did not give us over to death last night. And we're still here loving you, serving you, praising on you this morning, God. Just thanking you for this is truly an awesome day. This is truly a wonderful time. And we just thank you and praise you. Psalm 11 says, help Lord, for the godly man ceases, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said, with our tongue we prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us. For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy. Now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffed at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace or of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are ex exalted. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Father. Praise you. God is always with us. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepared the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Hallelujah. Yes. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank him this morning. He is worthy of all of the praise. Thank you for the job, Father. Thank you for the family this morning. Thank you for the church family this morning. Thank you, Father, even for our enemies who are at peace with us today. Lord God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Father, we just thank you and praise you. Psalms 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. For we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Father God, we just thank you and praise you this morning because you are a wonderful God. You are a loving God. You are a just God this morning. And we just give you all the honor, all the praise, all of the glory that's due unto your name. Lord, we thank you that you are the Lord and you change not. That's why we are not consumed and we just love you and praise you. Psalms 117. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. 
and the truth of the Lord endure forever. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Father. Yes, Lord, we love you. We honor you. We praise you right now, God. We glorify you this morning. We magnify you this morning. Father God, we thank you that when the wicked, even our, even our foes rise up against us, they will not prevail. We thank you and praise you this morning that no weapon formed against us shall prosper for our righteousness is of you, Lord. We thank you this morning, God, for we dwell in your secret place. We abide under your shadow. That's a place of safety. That's a place of rest. And we just thank you this day, oh, Heavenly Father. Yes, thank you for the protection that's all around us. Thank you for heaven's armies of angels assigned to keep us safe from her harm and danger in the spiritual world and the physical world. Lord God, we just thank you and praise you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Lord God. We give you glory. We give you honor. Psalms 150 says, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalter and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string of instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud symbols and praise him upon the high sounding symbols. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord this Friday morning. Give God some praise. Tell him thank you this morning. Tell him how much you love him. You appreciate him this morning. Father God, I just thank you and praise you. Hallelujah. Yes, for allow me to do your will and your good pleasure today to do what pleases you. Father God, I thank you for breath in my body. I thank you this morning, oh heavenly father. Yes, Lord, that you love me so much that you gave what was so precious for you, to you, for me, and for us this Friday. Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for life. Father God, eternal life through Jesus Christ. We thank you for this Friday morning. Father, we thank you this morning and praise you that Jesus has taken our burdens and our yokes, our issues, and we have taken his because his burden is light and his yoke is easy. Father God, we thank you and praise you this morning that while we're praying and crying out, you've already heard and answered. You've already made a way. Father God, I thank you and praise you this morning because you're doing a new thing in our lives, a new thing in your people. Father God, I praise you this morning for salvation. We we praise you for direction this morning. Lord God, for we trust in you with all our heart and lean on to our own understanding today. In everything we do, we acknowledge you and thank you for directing our path. Thank you for telling us what to say. Thank you for telling us where to go. Thank you for guiding us in what to do. Lord God, we thank you this morning that our obedience to you and your voice is better than any sacrifice we can make. Lord God, we just thank you right now. Father, we pause and give you glory, give you honor, give you praise this morning. Father, we thank you right now for your Holy Spirit that gives us power, might, ability, and authority. Your Holy Spirit that's in us and upon us this Friday. Lord God, we just thank you right now. Yes, that in you we live, move, and have our being today. Lord God, we thank you right now that we cast all our cares upon you because you care for us. Father God, we let go and let you be God. Father, we give it all to you this morning. We give all of our cares and our worries. We give our families to you. We give the jobs and the businesses to you. We give the church to you. Lord God, we give our minds. We give our everything. We give it all to you this morning, God. And we thank you that you have blessed it and you will make it great, God. Father, you're making us great. Father God, we thank you that you won't add no more trouble, no more burdens to to us. Hallelujah, God, we thank you. Hallelujah, that the troubles we face right now, they won't last always, because you are a deliverer. You are a strong tower. You are a shield and a buckler to us, God, and we thank you and praise you all the day long this Friday. In Jesus' name, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank you and praise you right now. We just give you glory, give you honor. We esteem you high, Father. Yes, you are an awesome God and a wonderful God. You are a great God. Father God, we just thank you and praise you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you and praise you that we will let our light shine today. The light of God that's in us and upon us. Father God, that you will get the glory in everything that we do this morning. Father God, I thank you and praise you right now, Heavenly Father, that our work for you is not in vain, God. 
that others will come and glorify you because of how we walk, how we talk, how we move, how we live. We thank you that we are believers and not doubters, that we walk by faith and not by sight. And we thank you this morning. Yes, Lord, thank you for lifting up our heads this morning. Thank you for raising us up today to do your will and your good pleasure. In Jesus' name, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? Um, hallelujah. It's this song I love listening to called Worth. And it's, uh, I can't think of his name. It's Anthony, um, I can't think of his name. But uh, Drew Thurper, it's called Worth. And God thought that you and I was worth saving. We were worth dying for. So he sent his only begotten son for you and I. You know, just know that God loves you this morning. Say this after me. Say, God loves me. I was worth dying for. I am forgiven. I am justified by Jesus' blood. And I declare, I will receive everything my God has for me in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. God loves you. You, you are on the mind of God today. Even when we mess up, that's the good thing about the blood of Jesus, that we are, our sins are forgiven. We don't have to go back and keep doing the same thing over and over again. God loves us. And I want you to understand this Friday morning, God loves you, child of God. He woke you up this morning. He put himself in you. He breathed his breath into you. You say this after me. I am special. I am unique. I am a child of God. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am courageous. I am determined. I am persistent. I am unstoppable. I am unshakable. I am unbreakable. I am unmovable. I am victorious. I am a winner. I am a champion. I am loved. I am loving. I am gifted. I am intelligent. I am smart. I am talented. I am blessed. I am empowered. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am complete. I am whole. I am healed. I am confident. I am forgiven. I am forgiving. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am generous. I am nice. I am kind. I am humble. I am strong. I am capable. I am well able. I am graceful. I am divinely favored. I am chosen. I am royalty. I am holy. I am different. I am peculiar. I am sanctified. I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. I am God's handiwork. I am a child of God. I am anointed and appointed for this day. I am God's masterpiece in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Listen. Don't walk around with your head down. Keep your head up. Keep your head up when you walk around. Know that God is for you. Know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. Know that God created you with a purpose in mind. Hallelujah. What the scripture says in Jeremiah. He said, I know the thoughts and the plans that I have towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future a hope or an expected end. Understand God made you with a purpose in mind. God don't make no junk. 
You are not second class or third class. I don't care what the world says. You are a child of God. I don't care how you look like on the outside, but on the inside, you got all of God in you this morning. Hallelujah. You receive Jesus. You receive the Holy Ghost. The power of God is upon you today. Walk in your power. Walk with your head held high. Put your crown on. Fix your crown. You are complete. You are whole. You are a child of God. Don't be getting mad and frustrated. Just rejoice in knowing that you are a child of God this morning. That you are special. You are unique to God this morning. And that God loves you. God is for you. Hallelujah. He is a light and lamp to your path. His word is. So know who you are. Know your worth. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Jesus. Don't be no sad Christian. Huh? Don't be walking around talking about I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. Hallelujah. You do know what to do. Pray. Talk to God. And then get up with your head up and rejoice. Go from being a pussy cat to being a battle cat. Hallelujah. You know how to fight. You know how to pray. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Quit walking around moaning and groaning and complaining. Start speaking the word with God. See, you need to spend, that's when you know. When you walking around just murmuring and complaining, fussing and cussing, that means you need to spend more time with God because there's no rest there. There's no peace there. Child of God, God gave you a way out. Hallelujah. Get in his presence and let his presence give you strength. Let his presence give you rest. Quit looking at other people and say, I'll never be able to do that. That's a lie. You'll be able to do that and more because of the God that's in you and upon you. God is giving you might, power, ability, and authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say this after me. This is God is able. Confession. Hallelujah. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all I did an act, think, or imagine according to the power that's working in me. You sent Jesus so I can live and enjoy my life in abundance till it's full, till it overflows. I speak words that give life unto others and myself. I speak words that build up, uplift, encourage, inspire, and motivate, and not discourage or tear down. My life is a reflection of God and his word working in me because I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things are become new. Greater is the spirit, the power, and the authority that's operating in me than any spirit, power, or authority that's in this world. My mind is renewed by the word of God. And I declare that what is impossible with man is possible for my God. I find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. I believe, I receive that I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, might, and ability. I declare my God has made his grace unearned, undeserved, unmerited, favor, supernatural, power and ability abound toward me. And I have no lack, no doubt, no fear. My body, my mind, my emotion. My attitude is healed and made whole by the stripes of Jesus. Anything I ask of the Father, I ask it 
in the name of Jesus. And I declare it is done for me. I am confident in the Lord, his word, and his spirit operating in me and in my life. I live and walk by faith and not by sight. I am a believer and not a doubter. I am a victor and not a victim. Say it again. I am a believer and not a doubter. I am a victor and not a victim. Let's give our God some praise this Friday morning. Child of God, I want you to do one thing. I want you to find you one set of scriptures for today. And I want you to meditate on that scripture. I want you to read that scripture. The scripture that will give you strength. Find a, a passage of scripture that will lift you up. Find a, a, a passage of scripture that will renew your strength. Hallelujah. A passage of scripture that will comfort and strengthen you and remind you of the goodness of the Lord. You can do Psalm 23, Psalm 1. Hallelujah. You can go down and go in Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, but you choose a passage of scripture. I don't care where you get it from. You, if you may already have one, that's your go-to scripture. When, hey, when your faith is feeling weak, when, when, when your walk is not strong, hallelujah, get you a passage of scripture so that God can be God in your life and do great things in your life. Hallelujah. Allow the word of God to get in you. Allow that word. Y'all know what we do like when we want to tenderize meat or else we want the seasonings to get in. We marinate it. We got to let the word of God marinate in us. We got to let the word of God cover us. We got to have that word in us so we can get strength to carry on to continue to fight in these battles. To continue to defeat the devil. To keep the negative thoughts out of our minds. Hallelujah. Right now somebody may be saying to themselves. You know what? My family don't love me. Your family loves you. But you probably feeling guilty. Because they don't love you the way you think. They should know you want to be loved. But if you never tell them. Then how they going to know. what? How you, want, how you want them to express their love to you. Hallelujah. So you thinking something is wrong. No, you got to get that out of your head and you got to start saying my family loves me and I receive the love of God and the love of my family into my life. Otherwise, you're going to walk around thinking don't nobody love you when that's not true. They come around you. They love you. But in your mind, you got a love language that's different than theirs. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil convince you your family don't love you. Don't let the devil convince you that you're not nothing. Don't let the devil convince you that you're not important and nobody else. Hallelujah. Because you are. Say this out to me. I am important. I am loved. I am appreciated. I am a child of the most high God. And my father, which is in heaven. Loves me. Let's give our God some praise this morning because he loves us. He loves you this morning. Hallelujah. I want you to remember something. I want you to remember. It's in you. You're complete. You're whole. You're healed. You are loved. Remember, everything you need is already in you. If you desire, it's already in you. You are complete. Hallelujah. Now, when your container get empty, what do you do? When, 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 when your seasoning's all gone, your salt, your pepper, your lowry, you go to the store and you get some more. When you feel like you're empty spiritually, go to the store and get some more. Hallelujah. Every day we need to be in this store. Every day we need to be talking to God. Every day we need to be getting refilled so we never run out. And get you some rest too because that's a part of being complete. Come on, let's move to this next confession. Y'all know, hey, I love favor. I declare favor is all over us today. The favor of God is all over us today. And let me get my next confession ready. 
after that because it is Friday and I just want to give God thanks and praise for such a beautiful day that he has made and we are rejoicing, we are glad and come on, say this after me, say Father, I declare that your grace, undeserved, unearned, unmerited, favor, your supernatural power and ability surrounds my life as a shield. I declare that I have the favor of God when I get up, when I lay down, when I'm asleep, when I'm awake. I have favor when I go out, when I come in, in my home, on my job, with my business. I have favor and good success in the sight of God and man. I declare that my God has raised up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, influence, intelligence, their money, their strength to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. I declare that my God has raised me up to use my favor, power, resources, might, ability, influence, money, intelligence, strength to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. I declare the favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulations, ordinances to be changed and created to favor me, to bless me, to do good to me. I am Abraham's seed and the favor of Abraham is on my life. I declare favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down and overtaking me. One more time, favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, overtaking me. One more time, favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, favor is fair. Hallelujah. Yes, favor is fair. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody tell you that that ain't fair. Yes, it is. When you find favor, because you've been committed to God, you've been doing what God tells you to do, and God opened doors of favor for you. Hallelujah. Don't, 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 don't uh, downplay it. Hey, let, let them know, hey, God favors me. Hallelujah. Say, God favors me. Hey, listen, you have to understand. He didn't have me write this confession so that we can say favor ain't fair. No, favor is fair. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They move you from a desk space to an office space. It's fair. Hallelujah. They give you a raise bigger than everybody else's because you've been doing what you're supposed to do. And God says it's time. Hey, it's fair. You ain't got to discuss your favor. You ain't got to tell everybody. Just tell them Jesus did it. Hallelujah. Let me read this one scripture and then we're going to do this last confession. I want to read Deuteronomy 8 and 18. And this actually I want to read verse, verse 17. So we got to keep this thing in proper perspective. This is Friday. This is our freedom day. This is our day to rejoice. And it says here in verse in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 8, 17 and 18. Hallelujah. Actually, let me read three verses. 17, 18, 19. He said, and thou shalt say in thy heart, my power and the might of mine hand had gotten me this well. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get well. He give you ideas. He give you ways. He give you might and ability to get well. That he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day to build his kingdom. And it shall be, if thou do at all, 
forget the Lord thy God and walk after other gods and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. Listen, when God increase you financially, don't forget God. Just remember, it's God is the one that did it. Hallelujah. You probably ask your boss, depending on what, where you were, you probably ask your boss for a raise. And they said, well, we can't do it right now. But then they remember you and they come back and say, hey, we decided to go ahead on and give you that raise because of, you know, you're always working hard. You, you're always getting it done no matter what we ask you. So we decided to give you a modest raise. And now you looking because you're thinking, oh, OK, then I'm about to get another dollar. And then they said, no, we decided that we're going to give you another six or seven dollars per hour because you're a great worker. You're faithful. You're committed. And we love what you're doing. We don't want to lose you. God gave you the power to get well. Say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I boldly declare that it is my right to come before your throne of grace boldly without the sense of guilt and condemnation. It is my blood bought right to be delivered from all debts and be free from all creditors. Jesus redeemed me from poverty and was made poor so that I could have abundance. The word says, give and it shall be given unto me. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, and men shall give unto me. I paid my tithes and offerings according to your word. And I thank you for opening the windows of heaven and pouring me out a blessing that I have room enough not to receive. I declare that Jehovah Jireh supplies all my need according to his riches and glory. Through Christ Jesus, the anointed one, and his anointing. Psalms 112 says, Blessed is the man who fears, trusts, loves, and reverently worships the Lord. And his house shall be filled with wealth and riches. I thank you, Father, that my house is filled with wealth and riches. I declare all my debts are paid on time, paid in full, and supernaturally canceled. I remember it is you, Father, that gives me power, enablement, means, ability, witty inventions, and ideas to obtain wealth, land, houses, buildings, money, Influence to establish, to build your kingdom on this earth. I declare all my needs are met. I am out of debt. I have plenty more to put in store. I count it all joy and above good cheer because my God has brought me out of financial bondage and delivered me into rich fulfillment, abundance, peace, a wealthy place. I am a good Christian and I lead an inheritance of prosperity and wealth to my children's children. I declare that I am like a tree that's rooted and grounded by the rivers of waters. And I am always producing good fruit. I am financially blessed to be a financial blessing. Angels of the Lord, I commission you now. Go in the north, south, west, and east. And bring me treasures of darkness and hidden riches in secret places. I declare that unexpected income is coming 
into my hands, into my mailbox, into my bank account, in my investment accounts. That money is already around me. I declare money coming to me now. Money coming to me now. Money coming to me now. In Jesus' name, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. My mama used to always tell my brother and I, money don't grow on trees. And it don't grow on trees. Money just don't fall from the sky neither. That means we have to open the door for God to be able to bless us financially. You got to do something. You got to you. God has given you talent, skills, and ability to use for the kingdom, but also that you can use so that you can be paid for. Hallelujah. See, too many times we are thinking we're praying. Praying is good. I, I say that. Faith can work without prayer, but prayer cannot work without faith. You need some corresponding action behind your prayers and your faith. God will open the door for you. Step out. Well, pastor, I don't know what to do. Pray about it. Ask God to show you. Ask God to bring people into your life who can help you. Somebody may already be doing what you're trying to do, but listen. Nobody has the marking on one thing. Hallelujah. So understand that God don't want you poor because poor people can't feed poor people. Poor people can't give clothes to poor people. Poor people can't help house homeless people. So as a Christian, you need money to be able to do what God wants us to do to show the love of God on this earth. You want more money, but ask God to give you a heart to be able to have more money so that you can help other people and still have enough left over to buy the things that you desire in your heart, to go to places you want to go. And quit saying, I don't want to be rich. You're already rich. You're rich because you got more money sitting in your pocket right now than some people got all over this world. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's touch the hem of his garment one time this morning. And, and let's pull down wealth this morning. Huh? Wealth is more than money. Wealth in your body, wealth in your mind, wealth in your relationships. But we want an abundance. That's what wealth is. It's an abundance, an overflow. That's what we want. Say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down wealth. In, Je in Jesus name Pull it down Hallelujah Woo <laughs> Need to pull down generational wealth So it go from one generation to the next Hallelujah That it just don't stop with you So with that being said Listen Thank y'all for joining me this Friday morning I have had a great time I want you to know that I love you uh, Thelma Robinson You are so welcome this morning Know that I love you I want God to continue to do great things in your life Keep your crown right. Hallelujah. You're a child of God. Keep your head held high. Don't you walk around with a sad countenance, sad look on your face. Don't walk around like you defeated. When something comes at you, don't, don't start saying, I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't drop your head. You know what you're going to do. First of all, pick, remember the Bible. Remember who you are and whose you are. You're a child of God this morning, okay? Remember that, that you're a child of God every day. Hallelujah. Don't forget, starting Monday morning, 7 p.m., we're going to do prayer Monday morning through Friday morning, and we're going to do it. We're going to have a revival Monday night starting at 7 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m., all week long. So know that, hey, I want you to join me. I want you to invite other people, hallelujah, to be a part of this prayer revival. We're going to have a good time. We're going to praise God. We're going to confess the word. Then I'm going to go to the word and give you some encouragement to help you continue to believe and, 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 and deal with the devil, deal with your struggles, your issues. We're going to keep a word of encouragement for the week with us. Amen. 
Amen. And also, too, I'm inviting you. If you live locally, I'm inviting you to come out and join us uh, in our worship service this Sunday morning at Yeager Middle School. That's 3777 North Jog Road in the city of West Palm Beach, Okeechobee Boulevard. Go, go north. It's north. Hallelujah. So you can come and be a part of what we're doing. That's 9 o'clock Sunday mornings. Looking forward to you joining us. And we're just going to have a good time, a great time in the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, remember, let people know that these prayers are on, are on YouTube. I put them on YouTube every day. Even our Sunday morning service is on YouTube under Pastor James and Sabrina Wilkinson. You can go back and catch it yourself and get you some encouragement. So with that being said, I just want to say happy Friday. And I love you guys. On the behalf of myself, Pastor James Wilkinson, my beautiful wife, Pastor Sabrina, our family. Hallelujah. Yes. The, the team Wilkinson, the Wilkinson clan. And on the behalf of the most beautifulest, bestest, wonderfulest, amazing, hallelujah, spirit filled, devil stomping, anointed, committed, skillful, lawful, able, prompt to do on fire. Yes, yes, most loving body of believers on this side of heaven, our Peniel Covenant Christian Center. And of course, you, our Peniel Covenant Christian Center on Facebook Live. I love you guys. Remember, when things get rough, go to the word, go to the rock. Jesus is our rock. Have a wonderful day. God bless you and I love you. Peace. Hallelujah. See you later, y'all.